Hello gamers, this is Flamin' Gaming 7 and welcome back to Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Ooh, what's that? Don't mind me, I'm just touching weird alien objects while doing my intro and accidentally accessing the menu while trying to run. Cleansing elixir, I'll take that. Okay, clearly doing an intro is overrated and we're just hopping right into it back in the Melodic Gardens. You really shouldn't need an intro or anything because if you're paying attention to the series, then you already know what it is we're doing. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Okay, that's terrifying. I don't like that monkey over there. I don't like that. The freaking, like, clapping monkey from Toy Story gave me freaking, like, nightmares. I hated that. Toy Story just gives you nightmares in general. I mean, think about it. Like, Sid and his toy abominations. Was that his name? Sid? I think it was. Those are freaking terrifying. You've got that scene in Toy Story 2 where the guy's, like, dissecting Woody. That's literally not what he's doing. But you know what I mean. That scene freaks me out. Okay, that... That unactivated something over there. Okay. Um, Toy Story 3, you've got... What was it? The Clapping Monkey? That was terrifying. I vividly remember that, and I haven't watched this movie in ages. And, of course, there's the uh, trash compactor scene. That one... That one's a real scarer. Huh. Can we really not go past that? You really- that's kind of sad. Okay, I thought those yellow leaves were saying I could scan. Nope. Nope. There's some sort of puzzle going on here. I just have no idea what. Like, where do I get stuff? What am I supposed to do? What's like the end goal? And I'm guessing the end goal is destroying this eye, which lets- which lets us- which lets us pass up there. How do we do that, though? There's the egg thing we need to throw at the eyeball. We need to activate circle. How does one activate circle, you may ask? That's a great question. Well, there is the circle. Is there a way we can yell at the thing again? Can we go over here? No, we can't. I said... And yeah, hold on, this was going up here. I almost for I forgot about that. And I'm trying to run with Y again. Uh, you know, I've gotten used to running with X, but then I played a Fire Emblem. I started the Black Eagles route, like, not too long ago, and I've been playing it so much ever since. I'm already, like, what, seven chapters in? I think, like, six and a half. Because I'm pretty sure Battle of Eagle and the Lion is chapter eight, and that's the next one I've got to do. I'm excited for it. Where did those footprints lead? Maybe it's something I've already looked at. I don't know. Okay, so hold on. I can now yell at that. Okay, hold on. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Yell at that. Accidentally open the freak fracking menu. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. And now, because I've scanned that ladder into existence, I can go over here and grab the circle. Now, I don't know where to put the circle. But I have a circle. And Okay, hold on. Let's leave that there. Because we've got to yell at this. Can we yell at it from here? Ah! No, it can't hear me. What if I go over here? Ah! Nope, still can't hear me. I go all the freaking way around. Ah! 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 Nope. Okay, yes? Okay, yes, it is moving. Cool. Alright. No, I said pick up. I don't even know where I'm bringing this. Like, I do not know what I'm doing with it. Like, I do not have the faintest idea. I should probably, like, try and figure that... <sighs> I'm going to scream. Well, I guess let's, while we're over here, let's at least move this. Nice, nice. If I go, like... Is there, like, a hidden circle thing here? I was really hoping for a hidden circle thing. Where I could put the circle. Well, now I've got a circle. As I may have mentioned. Can't just put it there. Nope. I feel like there's still more to this that I haven't uncovered yet. I'm gonna leave this here for now. 
I mean, no, I feel like this is the whole area. I just don't even know where I need to put it. I think it's gotta be something with the scan power. Let's follow these footprints. Do they go down? I think they go down. Oh, oh, hold on. That is a bonus battle. I will do that soon. I will not do that now. I wanna solve this puzzle first. I think we just walk around and scan everything and hope we somehow find something. That sounds pretty good to me because it's the best idea that I've got. Is the circle still up there? Okay, it is. Cool. I don't want you despawning. Like, I hope I'm not just missing something obvious, but that's very possible. Scanning. Scanning. What if it's over here? No. Give me the map. Let me see the map. That is our next main quest. I have no idea how we're getting there. So wait, what way are we facing now? All right, right here is the exit of this puzzle I'm doing now. And that I think gives us access to over here, I think. So this is not all where we need to be for the main quest. I don't know how we get over there, actually. It looks like a fairly secluded island, maybe from right here? I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna look around a little bit more and let you know if I find anything. Hold on, I knew something was suspicious about this little area. I forgot you could break Well, I totally forgot that was a thing we could do. That was not even like registered in my mind that that's something I might be able to do. Well, hey, I knew this area was suspicious. I was like, I, I was like, oh, I should totally be able to like scan here and there's something. There was something there. And a lot of y'all were probably yelling at me like, flaming, what the hey ho? What are you doing? It's right there. It's right there. You're literally right next, right next to it. That's not the throw button. That is by no means the throw button. Okay, there we go. I don't even know if this is right. Okay. Now that we've unlocked that, let's proceed to backtrack and do that quest that we unlocked a moment ago. Darkness in the jungle. Sounds nice and simple. All right, it's a Darkness Eye Destroyer. Okay, interesting. There's 20 of them. There's a cannon over here. You can see that thin line in the air that shows where the cannon goes. This is a big map. We got Bob bombs we got Magikoopas, we got Depleters. Those are weak to Gust, I gotta remember. Ugh, lots of Magikoopas. I'm not a fan of that. All right, let's organize our team. Team is set, skill trees have been managed. We've got Edge, Mario, and Rabid Luigi. We've got two Magikoopas immediately. I don't like that. That's stupid. I think no one else should be like, at all an issue, right? Oh, there's a Magikoopa and a Depleter there. Oh, I hate them. I hate that. Can't even move behind the freaking Darkness Eye. Hmm. Okay, so what if he's this Magikoopa first? Okay, that Magikoopa is- a, that's a dead end. That Magikoopa ain't gonna do anything for us. But how Luigi does have Screech? Oh goodness, wow. That's a lot, okay. Lucky depleter. I, I know I increased its range, but oh goodness, that's, wow. I was not ready for that. I would like to affect everyone. I think this could really come in handy here. Oh, there's a freaking Magikoopa there too? Oh my goodness, how many Magikoopas are there? All right, that's all the Magikoopas. Unfortunately, not the Pleader. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that because those things are menaces. Defeating some of those is more important than getting the Darkness Eyes. I say that, but there's a decent chance I focus on the eyes anyway because it's fun. <laughs> Edge's dashes, I believe, are completely maxed out. 
She's going ramp dash too. She's going all in. And by the way, I checked and the max spark level is still five. Fun fact. Oh my goodness, that's insane. That's insane. Half of Magikoopa's health with one flip flap and dash. Oh my gosh. And I've actually focused on upping everyone's crit chance too, because I've realized that it's not that terrible of an upgrade, believe it or not. I love that sound effect. When the Disruptor hits stuff, love it. Alright, I say let's launch Mario in the air, see what his options are. Boom. Yes. And then just land here. That Magikoopa definitely cannot reach Mario this turn. So I'm not going to bother with Hero Sight. I don't think it's going to do anything. Alright, that's it. Okay, uh, that could be bad. Cool. Did not think about that. One of the bob bombs just barely couldn't reach. That is a spell razor. Those are spell razors. Those are not depleters. Those are spell razors. Okay, wow, we have more problems this turn than I thought. Please no, we have literally no way of healing. We are incapable of healing. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Is Mario down? Did Mario get hit by that? No, he didn't. We have no capabilities to heal. Oh, there's so many. Okay. I see we start moving down here, and that should make all of these enemies obsolete, except maybe that Stooge. You can probably take that Stooge out on the way out. Hmm... Okay, down here, we've got a Magikoopa, we've got two Magikoopas, a Depleter, and a Stooge. That is no small amount. No small amount at all. Hmm. Focusing solely on the enemies the, this turn for sure. So I want to get Edge over here, right? Because of her, uh... Her sword should be good there. I think I just go over here, see what happens. And then honestly, Mario, turbo charge us. Right, let's get some dashes in, see what happens. Three dashes does not do it, unfortunately. Hmm, let me think. Am I able to hit all three of them? Is there a way I can do that? You say yeah, Edge, but I don't know about that. If I can at least hit these two, I'm happy. And I definitely can do that. I'm not, like, that worried about the Stooge. My thought process is, can I defeat this Magikoopa with my next dash? No. What if I Stormblade? Hmm. Edge might just be able to take these three out on her own, which is kind of wild. Alright, I'm going to Stormblade. Actually, this should damage all of them now that I think about it. Let me press the wrong button. Yeah, that's going to damage all of them with the way Stormblade works. Okay, Magikoop is down. Nice, nice. And then we get another dash. Defeat the Stooge. Can we go around here? No, we can't. 
All right. Um, Edge could actually jump up here. I mean, it doesn't really matter because there's no other enemies around here except that Magikoopa, who we are definitely going to defeat with the other two. Let's wait because she might want to, like, team jump. I mean, jump back up here and do team jump stuff, maybe? I don't think so. These two might just be staying here. Okay, that looks pretty awesome. Yeah, these two have a lot less exciting stuff going on. Alright, we definitely want to maximize our damage just as much as possible. So really, Mario should get some stomps in and then a dash with a hero sight. Hero sight does 155% damage. And then it'll have a second charge. Jump shot just does 150%. Alright then. I want to make sure this Magic Koopa gets defeated. Hero Sight. I'm pulling out all the stops. And then boom. And that might be enough. Ah, oh, dang it. Now Rabbit Luigi might not be able to get as crazy of a combo. But we survived, so can't complain that much, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Just the one. Hmm. Maybe he should try and defeat it this turn. What if he goes down here? Then can he do anything funky? No. It does not matter when he is, just where the disruptor hits. I think just because this one's kind of like a back here straggler... Uh, we are not- oh no, we can't hit it. Okay, oh, there's a stooge here! Oh, hi! I forgot you were here. I'm sorry. Hmm. That's gonna deal 146 damage flat. Would Vamstra be enough? Deals 100, I mean, 1,370. Well, that's less, so I know that number's not right. Hmm. He could take a jump. Yeah, no, I actually definitely should have focused more on defeating this stooge. Because now, I think Mario will be safe. We might want to use Screech, though. Screech is a three-turn cooldown. I kind of just want to go for it, though. I don't know, it could be useful later. But we'll probably spend a couple turns moving around this way. I don't know, I don't know. We've got to get up here as well. We don't have to get up there, but we got to keep an eye out there. Power blocks do a lot of damage, what the heck? Yeah, I think we got to do something about this stooge, because Rabbit Luigi and Mario are low on HP, and we have no way of healing. All right, there we go. And now, I think... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh. The Depleter's still... Oh, yeah, because Edge hasn't attacked yet. Okay, I forgot about that. I was worried for a sec. So there's no way Edge can hit both of them. Right? Yeah, even she's not amazing enough to break the laws of physics, unfortunately. That is not guaranteed. Ooh, Okay. That's bad. Edge does have the best health out of everyone, so it could be worse. Mario's already locked in where he's at, right? Yeah. A team jump from Mario would not do anything. I'd love to dash the Depleter, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, I think I've spent long enough on this turn. Maybe I should fortify. It's got a four turn cooldown and it lasts for two. I think it's worth it. Ooh, can we just barely get everyone? All right, let's go for it. Gotta admit, it oh, I didn't think that went through. Now we can't attack you. Well, dang it. Whatever. Um, we don't need to rush things. We can just deal with that eyeball later. Unfortunately, cannot hit two. All right, we're just freaking, we're just freaking sending it. 
Hold on, actually... Maybe not yet. Boom. Oh! I didn't even- yeah, I didn't even think about that. Okay then! Okay then! Look at that. Just spending an egregious amount of time on one turn and you can accomplish some great things. Oh my goodness. Okay, that turn was a success and a half. Please don't shoot Rabbit Luigi. Okay, he's good. Everyone else is definitely safe. Think about how good Berserk would be with Goomba-focused levels. Because Goombas come in packs of three and there's always just a lot of them. That would be insane. Mm, yeah, that jump pad isn't going to give him any more distance, really. Maybe a teeny bit. So our goal now is just to work around the outside edges and destroy these eyes. And then we've got a bunch over here. Yeah, there's no way we can avoid confronting all those enemies. Boop. I'm not too worried about enemies. Hide down here, though, just in case. Hold on, go... Oh, goodness! Uh, you know what? Let's go Vampstra. And he's gonna go all the way across the battlefield. Oh, and this is gonna heal him! Not by a huge amount, but something. Hmm, what I'm gonna do... Mario's gonna go over here. He's going to woo. So I can hit that. Can hit that bob bomb. Let's go for the bob bomb. And now... Boom, boom. And I don't really know where he's going. Um, there, I guess. Have fun. And I probably shouldn't have left Edge stranded down here. I'm sorry about that. My apologies. And now she is. She's stuck. This actually could be bad. Oh, this could be bad. I can't tell if that Magikoopa can reach the pipe or not. I mean, it doesn't say it can. I mean, it says it can't. You can, though. Hmm. Could she do something if she goes up here? No, definitely not. Can't go up to that bounce pad. I would really like to destroy both of these. But... That spell racer's gonna get her. Could be pow block time. Hmm. Let's just go for one of them and just leave it at that. Let's not get greedy. Mario has hero sight. I don't think it'd be useful though. He's got nothing else to do and it cool that it's cool down his instant, so may as well. All right, that's that. And we got fortified this turn, thankfully. Not where I thought that spell razor would go. Can't complain though. That empower is not gonna do anything. Again, not gonna do anything. All right, what kind of crazy freaking shenanigans can Rabid Luigi cook up this time? Okay, not nearly as crazy. That's all right. Edge can still reach that thing from all the way over here without trouble.
Hmm. I kind of want to... Okay, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Let me cook. Let me cook, chat. Power up. Does Mario have... He does not have Starburst. Not sure if I would have used them anyway. Destroy that, Magikoopa. Deal some... Hurry up. Deal some damage to you guys. And then run back. She doesn't even have to use the bounce pad. She can just run back here. Still that eyeball down there, which I don't like. Someone's got to go back and get that. Or some Mario jump shenanigans, potentially. I think Mario jump shenanigans. So we've got some enemies over there we're going to want to, like, avoid. We can jump down here, which is fairly safe. Okay, I think that should be our uh, rendezvous point at the end of this turn. It's down there. Just barely. Oh, hold on. Edge can't... What? I thought she... I thought... As long as part of your movement circle is within the cannon's radius, you can move all around it. Huh, maybe it's only if you're actually able to enter the cannon? I don't know. Alright, so we're going to boom you, and then can we boom him. Oh, we can get that one, that's actually so huge. Oh, hold on, that's actually really good. What the heck? Alright, and I'm glad I didn't move Mario too far. Because we want to get a team jump with you. And plop. Okay, but hear me out. For Mario's turn, we can still cook a little bit more. We can still cook a little bit. Okay. We're over here. We're going to activate Hero Sight. We can do a bit of extra damage. Let's jump off this. Boom, boom, boom. And we need to be very careful about where we land. Okay, maybe not that careful. Okay, boom. And now we boom, boom, boom. A lot of booms. And with only movement, we've just defeated a Magikoopa. Oh my goodness. We've still got a hero, a hero sight charge left to spare if we need it. That is what I call some efficient gameplay. And now we just move as far this way as we can. Doesn't really matter, because no one's, no one's hitting us, I don't think. Right? We got some Stooges up there. Can they make it onto here? What is this elevation change here? This is weird. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not really worried about much of anything. We can all just hang out here. I'm going to assume we can't hit. Never mind. We can very much hit stuff. What about Edge? That does not seem like a good idea, but like something that is worth my time. There's a lot of Stooges at this point. Those portals aren't going to affect much of anything. We've got only four eyes left. A well-placed shot with Rabid Luigi could actually end this. Hmm. I don't know. I wouldn't hold my hopes out for that. I don't think that's super likely. You could probably get those three. I mean, even then, maybe get those three. It's a maybe, not a probably. Whoop. Yep, that's about what I expected. Catch this. That means there's still one left up on a higher level. Mario's jump shot. I think this is the our best chance at this. Hmm, should I just pop Mario in the air and see what happens? 
Is that a good idea? I think that's a great idea. That's what I'm freaking talking about. And shoot that stooge for bonus points. Mario, if Mario had fallen into the blast zone just now, would that have dealt damage to him? I wonder. 110 coins, 820 star bits. Dang, that battle ended faster than I thought it would. I thought we'd have some big confrontation over in the middle, but nope. We just have too many movement options. It feels good being this leveled up again, having so many skills. I am not used to it thanks to Tower of Doom. Alright, Darkness in the Jungle, Planet Coin awarded. Nice, that's our first one. Let's explore a little bit more. Uh, let's go find out what that path opened up earlier. We did that whole puzzle and then got distracted by a battle. Is it up here? Okay, no, for a moment I thought up here was the wrong way. But nope, it is one of the multiple right ways. The sign jiggle. Did I did I just imagine that? No, I didn't. Okay, but what does this do for me? Can I like Huh oh I have to press it multiple times. Oh, I forgot how this works. I mm, thank you for the, literally when I saw that hint sign, I was like, what the heck is a hint sign? I don't need one of those. I know how all these abilities work. No. No, I don't. <laughs> This is a big pathway. Checkpoint City! Forgot those were a thing. New teleport flag, music jungle. New main quest, harmony disruption. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing a bit of music now. I like it, I like it. Oh! Oh! Is that her? Oh, that was a little worrying. What the heck? There's a whole quest here. There's a puzzle, whatever. Hmm, I think as much as I like to do this, I think I just keep going, wanting to see what's a little further, but I do want to end today's episode here. As much as I keep wanting to see what, what's the next thing, I just want to look a little further. <laughs> it's like saying just one more reel or just five more minutes, mom. But no, I need to stop telling myself that. I am going to have to end the episode at some point, so I'm going to end it here. We saw a little sneak peek as to someone watching us in the trees, and there's an evil face on that tree. That's worrying. We got a checkpoint. We're going to hang out here. We didn't get a lot done this episode, but that's all right. We just saw a little bit more of what the jungle has to offer. Did a much simpler battle than the one we did last episode and solved our first puzzle. For now, gamers, this has been Flamin' Gaming 7. Make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, eat your green vegetables.